WC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and it is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron here on the Twitter from the Sorgatron Media Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. And with me from Poughkeepsie, New York, it is Mad Mike. Sorg, I have a Hulkbuster. You do have a Hulkbuster, sir. I have a Hulkbuster. And, and before I was having it flip you off, but it's really... That's it's not just nice. Iron. That's it's not just nice Iron at all. Man. Come on. It's just Iron Man inside. It's oh, okay. It is just Iron Man inside. We did have a Stone Cold Hulkbuster uh, as well. And also with us, he is, well, right here in the studio in Pittsburgh, PA, he is Larry. What's up? Larry, you're all over the uh, the, the Twitters tonight. I am. I was very busy on the Twitters. You're very busy on the Twitters, of course. Yes. Uh, so how you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. You're all right. I'm looking forward to Cena Goldberg WrestleMania. Cena Goldberg WrestleMania, Mad Mike, Uh-oh. right off the tap. Uh-oh. I mean, no, you're excited for it. Loser retires. Oh wow. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe there can be a this mixed show, tag. This show is off to a great stop. Maybe, maybe there'll <laughs> be a mixed tag of Cena and and Nikki against Gold Dust and Mandy Rose. <laughs> wow. You don't hate that. Wow. You don't uh, hate that. Nope. I'd prefer Team Little Big. That's mm. just me. Okay. Neither of the neither of them are booked yet. <laughs> I guess technically. Technically, neither of them are booked. We're yet. talking about Braun and Alexa, right? <laughs> Tina says her nine year old is jealous of my Hulkbuster. <laughs> as, as I. It's the perks of working in a toy store. All right. Well, well first, let's touch on you know. Let, let's touch on the thing that you've been the most, uh, I guess, divisive about, and that would be. Matt Hardy. Now, now, leading up to now, you said um, a few different things, but one mm-hmm. very specifically, you says, you says, yes, this is not for real until I see a drone. And sir, yeah, yeah, um, S- Sorg, yes, we saw a drone. <laughs> it's happening. It is it's for pro- real. It's probably not going to be the best. No, 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 no. Now, see, here's what I'm hoping. All right, Sorg, I'm already going to book this. You because, of, because, of course, you are. Yes. Um, I think the dilapidated boat is actually a teleporter. Okay. And I think they will fight all over the Hardy compound. Mm-hmm. Bray Wyatt will try to take refuge under the dilapidated boat after he emerges from the Lake of uh, Regeneration as, as Husky Harris. And they are teleported... <laughs> They are teleported to New Orleans. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, All hold right. On, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yeah. 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 Go yeah. On. Larry. Mm-hmm. Is he going to take out the dread extensions to be Husky Harris? I don't know. Yes. Movie magic. Movie magic. Uh-huh. It's yeah. all about movie magic. All right. It's all CGI. It's all, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. The beard, do amazing. The beard it's is all not CGI. real. Do you think there's actually a Hulkbuster? No, it's just Lego. You know what? They've been they've it's been CGing out. They've been CGing out uh, John Cena's mustache this whole time. <laughs> right. Technically, well they've been CGing Sorry. in well John Cena the whole time because yes. you can't see him. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's uh, that's how they solved that problem. That's not right what then. John Cena really <laughs> you, looks no. like. You can't CG him. You can't CG him. Oh no! He, he he's like he's like the gorillas. No one really knows what John Cena actually looks like. <laughs> this is true. This is true. So looking for the, looking forward to that. Okay, we did. Okay, so you did see John Cena and Goldust. Goldust looking good, I thought. Also uh, creepy. John uh, Goldust should have won. Yes, Goldust should have always won. Yes. But how do you? How does Gold? What? So there's like a seventh person in that giant match for one title on, on Sunday. No, no, that, no. Goldust is not a free agent. It it should be Goldust versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania. I'd be okay with that. I'd be on board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be, I'd be no board. disrespect to Nakamura, but <laughs> oh true. my god, Go- could you imagine a Goldust Nakamura match? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they would spend ten minutes feeling themselves up just to try and psych the other one out. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. It'd be amazing. The match would never start. It'd be like Michael Jackson versus David Bowie. 
Um, and we also had, we've, we, we were saying more WrestleMania matches, of course. We do officially have the match that I think most of us were expecting of, uh, of uh, Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle against uh, the power couple of Triple H and Stephanie. Yep. Sure. Hell of a four, uh, forearm by Stephanie. Hell of a forearm. Hell of a sneak and, attack and, forearm. And, and hell of a really unsafe uh, Samoan drop by Ronda Rousey. Yeah, it was a little sideways, well, wasn't it? I, I thought Stephanie separated her shoulder. <laughs> Well, she legit- also yanked her up she did she like, yanked her up by the arm like very like she's scary it's well just, she was trying she was trying to take the arm with her yeah yeah as oh. a, as a toy I, although i was really as, looking forward oh, to no, her sword. yeah i'm going to show you what ronda rousey was trying to do All right. Stephanie. Uh, if you're okay, on audio see? he's got a little group he, guy i, don't I, yeah. I have a group. He's got a group this is what ronda rousey was trying to do yeah Oh no! Oh, Larry, is your monitor not on? No, it's I'm not. sorry. It's sorry. I'm on. Okay, Facebook he's on the There's thing. Okay, he'll, he'll get in a minute. It's okay. I I, I oh, took I took is. an arm off a Lego group. There you go. There you go for the audio uh, people. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, but that that's what that's what Ronda oh. was trying to do. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for his video to catch up. There you go. <laughs> well, at least he can grow that arm back. <laughs> that is true. Stephanie, I may be part root. I don't know. I don't know about her their family tree. Yeah, it doesn't uh, work. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Oh, Hashtag no. Stanford problems. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no, Sorg, Sorg. Um, did you know that Bron can play piano? <laughs> God, that man you know, that man deserves a Grammy. I tweeted, you know, have you ever seen have you ever seen a man beat another man over the head with a piano while you're about to sure, at the beginning of the match? I'm pretty sure since January and Raw, Braun has already egotted. He got it? Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Oh, I'm okay. pretty all sure right, all right, he's all already right. got all four of them. Well, not to be undone, Elias also legitimately playing most of those instruments too. Mm-hmm. I was waiting for him to pull out like a harmonica yeah, or a th- yeah. or a theremin or something like that. The, like the harmonica a, is the Mister Rogers gimmick, or an ocarina. Oh, an ocar- Yeah, that would have been great. Super geek out mode there, exactly. Uh, and he pulled out an ocarina that that might have summoned T.J. Perkins. That's true. So did we only have and one? No one wants. No, that. we did have. So <laughs> I, I and maybe maybe it was just the level of of in depth I was watching this one segment. So we got Nia, we had a again a, new, a good uh, Oscar and, and Nia match, right? Yeah. But I don't sure. know how sure. I feel about crying Nia Jax with Alexa telling her about how how bad she should feel. That was weird. It was, it You'll was feel strange. really great when Nia beats Alexa for the title at WrestleMania. Mm, mm. It was it, it was kind of like that Mick Foley interview. The Mick Foley Wait, interview? Yeah, you know that, that one he did with uh, JR. JR, where shit got real and you learned yeah. about his character. Yeah. You know? Okay. Because, I don't know. She hasn't been a very um, captivating giant. She's like a gentle giant. Yeah. <laughs> that gets pushed around. And now it's yeah. being portrayed that way because she hasn't yeah. been winning that much. When does she get to she be? She hasn't been that dominant. She really should be just a monster, right? Yeah, she should be. But she should be female Braun. So, she's going so to be female Big Show, unfortunately. April eighth. That's April when 8th. she gets to be. That's when she gets to be that. You think so? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Th- this 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 tonight on Raw only further cements it in my brain. I don't know. I'm thinking making because that, that that whole segment was basically just. Building for their WrestleMania match package. Okay, that's all. It was, that's all it was doing. All right. Um, other than that, I guess we did have again Mandy Rose and Bailey. Um, the no hug at the end there. Uh, so that that's slowly going, you know, coming along there. Uh, we have. Jeez, what else happened tonight? Um, oh yeah, actually, John's in the chat room uh, mentioning about uh, the revival in the bar being a thing. Oh, Why uh... are you sad about this, Mike? Because the revival should have won. Okay, they should have won. The but... revival has not won a match, like since they returned. I don't think mm-hmm. it wasn't against. Jobs. Was it for the titles tonight? No, no, no. It was just no, it was just, it was just a match. Yeah. So, but like I, they just the raw tag team. team division is so broken. Mm-hmm. It's and not and broken. Not in the fun, <laughs> way, not in the fun <laughs> way that involves drones. No, oh, okay, like, the other one. Okay. No. 
yeah, it's just completely defunct. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't even know what the bar does at WrestleMania if they're even on the card. Pre-show, they're, which I don't... they're in the pre-show. If not, they're Battle Royal. If if that, I mean, probably the Battle Royal. But I can't believe they're not doing anything with Gallows and Anderson. I can. Why? I I can because because I don't know. It, they brought I them in like they I were falling. Vince Nash. still sees him as Festus. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but uh, authors of pain to Raw says Travis, maybe. Yep, I could see that. Yeah, that could help shore that out. It becomes uh, NXT Tag Teams uh, 2.0 with them But in the that revival. wouldn't be until after WrestleMania, and we need no, something no, no, for no. WrestleMania. Um, is it, What's this? If, if Revival won, they were going to go to uh, Mania for the titles, so that didn't happen. They'll get another shot. I think they get another shot, and they get in anyways. I mean, probably. It's probably going to be a multi-team match. Mm. We, we do have a lot of time to build these guys up before WrestleMania, so. Mm. We got five weeks, Sorg. That's true. Um, Raw seemed kind of disjointed for me tonight. How so? Uh, I, it, it just it just seemed all over the place. Um, but uh, up to the point where we ended on just Roman and Heyman cutting a promo. Uh, I'm... I, <sighs> I've said before, I'm done with Mike, Brock. Mike, are you so Mike? Done are you Brock. done with Paul Heyman making excuses for Brock Lesnar? I I want Paul Heyman to go to some to be a manager or an advocate for someone who can really use it. Mm-hmm. Because, like, Paul Paul Heyman can sell me anything in the world. He can't sell me that Brock Lesnar has passion to be a wrestler. No, no, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't he, it? He can't because. Everything he was describing that Roman Reigns would have to do, Brock Lesnar has not done any of those things, which leads me to one conclusion. A lot of horrible things have happened in Brock Lesnar's personal life for him to not show up to every single Raw and pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That is true. Yeah, you're right. Now you think about that. Wow. Like, like maybe there is an Elseworlds, like, serial killer thriller where someone is taking out Brock Lesnar's extended family. Like they found his his um genealogy page and it's just like if I need to eliminate Brock Lesnar, I must take out the Lesnar line. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets a little timey wimey. Well like like anyone like anyone who's ever been affiliated with Brock Lesnar. Watch out and Sable. Related, has anyone heard from Mark Merrow lately? Dun, dun, dun. I know my pick for mm-hmm. Mania. That's the true unsolved Hash, mystery. Hashtag Wild Man versus the Beast SummerSlam 2018. The next, the next exclusive series on USA Network to interrupt Raw. Mike, did you have unso- unsolved uh, inter- interrupt uh, your your main segment on Raw tonight? Because that was weird on our end. No, it, no. it came on afterwards. It came on, okay. And it, because we saw the beginning of that at 11:01. Twice in oh, a row, gosh. and then no, interrupted so into Paul Heyman talking on the way to the ring. So basically, Paul Heyman and Big cut a uh, a, a rap this album. Yeah, you're just kind of standing around. But anyways. I'm not. I'm not convinced okay. that that wasn't Paul Heyman facing away from the camera the entire That's time. That's true. <laughs> Paul Heyman is Biggie Smalls. Hmm. Mad Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I'll go an hour twenty-five. Oh, what about you? Larry, um, I'll go an hour forty-five. Hour forty. I'm gonna go hour thirty. Ha! Ah, well, you said O oh, to me, and you're only like ten minutes more. Uh, yeah, I thought, thought about what, it. What the just... hell? Did you just like the tag match more? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I was just, just ah. I was just not into it tonight. It just wasn't doing anything for me. It was, uh, uh, Travis says an hour 10 in the yes, chat. Yes, I'm so. sorry, so Raw. He, I'm he's, he's worse than me. No, yeah, it didn't really work out. Raw, I'm sorry, I had a headache. No, no, not working. Uh, but anyways, uh, so Monday Night Raw, wrap up. Mad Mike, we'll see you tomorrow yes. night. We got a big night tomorrow on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yes, we do. Oh, and I have a big, big to-do on Mayhem Mania. Screw I your Mayhem Mania show. pick. We're going to have Chris I, the Joseph of Lucha Underground on. I know. I would 
Sorg, I'm building up for the oh, main I event. See, I see. God, Sorg, this is why you didn't like Raw. You don't know how to book a show. We need notes. We need notes. The producer. May- Mayhem Mania is no, the undercard. No, no. Krista Joseph is the main event. I was putting myself over, too. I mean, you know. Hashtag get yes. my shit in. Yes, except when we do the, <laughs> when we do the episode, we're actually going to uh, book it like a main event. So, Well, yeah, that's true. But yes, Chris and Joseph from Lucha Underground is going to be on tomorrow night. And yes, he, is. Uh, he he told me he's very excited to partake in Mayhem Mania, too. I, lo- I love that that a man who has booked WWE and has booked in part three seasons in a fourth of Lucha Underground wants to be part of our fantasy booking thought experiment tomorrow. He has mm-hmm. a, actually his, his match, I believe, won last or you know made it all the way through last week or last year. Uh, so I'm excited to see he's going to be early in the game this time. And yeah. yeah, I mean, because we're gonna have at least three or four uh, more rounds, I think. So, I believe so. something yeah. like that. So we'll we'll see what's going on there. I've got I've got a good one for this year for this week. Oh, are, oh yeah. I'm yes. terrified of what Larry's. Oh good no one no is. no! You'll like this one. It's gonna blow oh. Bart Gun and Butterbean out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm terrified. If is, is it gonna uh, involve Mark keep, Bauer? Larry, no. keep in mind. No. Keep in mind. I also go last. So if I don't like what you did, or true. if I feel, or if I feel like you're going to sabotage this week's round, I would never. You, you may get the punishment, because I get to dole out punishment. Okay, well, see now you have a, a decision to make because you'll have to decide between screwing over my choice, or getting rid of Bobby Lashley. Oh no, I can do both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the alpha wow. and the omega. Wow. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Um, okay, sword, well, with sword. that. This week on Mayhem Mania, I basically have the Infinity Stones. I think he's threatening to pipe bomb the show. You should mute him. I, I don't know. Well, thankfully, he's like a state and a half away. So, uh, Anyways, Mad Mike, Mad Mike 4 3 on the Twitters. Yes, I occasionally talk about wrestling things. And um, Sorg, hmm. hashtag Birthday Mania is booked. There you go. Yes. Hurrah. Yes. Larry has people at Mutilator Larry on the Twitter. Yes. You'll find my, all my ramblings about John Cena and his path to not main eventing WrestleMania. Or well, you being said on you, wanted to, you wanted to get a GoFundMe for John Cena's yes. uh, WrestleMania ticket. Yes. We're going to start a GoFundMe for John Cena's WrestleMania ticket. Hashtag nosebleed section. <laughs> at Sogertron on the Twitter, check out everything at SogertronMedia.com, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and Wrestling Mayhem Show with Krista Joseph of Lucha Underground. The co executive producer will be at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody. If you have checked this out uh, uh, anywhere, you can subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Look for the WMS Master Feed or the Sogertron Media, or I'm sorry, the WMS Super Feed or the Sogertron Media Master Feed on your favorite podcast provider. If we're not there, let us know. Good times at SorgatronMedia.com until I f- fix that other one or at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it raw.